By subscribing and liking the content, give us a like to continue delivering the most important information. Stay safe by being vigilant. With In a landmark legal decision, a U.S. judge has ordered the NSO Group, the Israeli surveillance firm behind the notorious Pegasus spyware, to hand over its source code to Meta, the parent company of WhatsApp. This ruling comes as part of the ongoing litigation initiated by WhatsApp against NSO Group accusing it of exploiting a vulnerability in the messaging app to install the Pegasus spyware on approximately 1,400 mobile devices, targeting a wide array of individuals including journalists, human rights activists, and government officials. The court's directive covers the Pegasus spyware and other relevant NSO products for the period from April 29, 2018, to May 10, 2020. This decision represents a significant setback for NSO Group which has vigorously contested the lawsuit, asserting that it should not be held accountable for its government clients' actions. The ruling, however, does grant NSO some leeway by allowing the company to withhold its client list and details about its server architecture. The Pegasus spyware has been at the center of global controversy due to its alleged use in surveilling and targeting various individuals worldwide. The software is marketed to governments globally and is purported to assist in combating crime and protecting national security. However, its deployment has raised serious privacy and human rights concerns, with numerous reports indicating its misuse against activists, dissidents, and journalists. This court order marks a pivotal moment in the battle for digital privacy and accountability, emphasizing the need for transparency and legal oversight in the use of sophisticated surveillance technologies. The U.S. Supreme Court's decision to allow WhatsApp's lawsuit to proceed underscores the judiciary's recognition of the potential legal and ethical implications of such spyware tools. As the legal proceedings continue, this case is set to shed further light on the operations of private surveillance firms like NSO Group and the broader implications for privacy, security, and human rights in the digital age. And now, as we reach the end of our news segment, please remember, for a detailed list of our sources, you can find them in the description of our YouTube video. Thank you to everyone who watched today's program. Remember, by following us, you become part of a reliable source for information and advice. Whether you like the program or not, please press subscribe to join our community. This helps us improve and ensures you are among the first to receive our latest news and programs. Don't forget to hit the like button and share our channel with your friends. Farewell, until we meet again.